All right, what's up? Charlie and I are down here in Texas. Wanted to come see some space stuff. Charlie's a big space dude. I think space is cool. He, he's way more into it, knows more about it than me. He's smarter than smarter dude than I am. Uh, that was McDonald's down the road here in Houston. Uh, now we're going to head over into, uh, I think it's NASA's, I think it's Johnson Space Center. Uh, the, the part where you can go in and visit, check everything out is just Space Center Houston. Uh, I'll probably call it Houston Space Center. That sounds better. For some reason, it seems weird to me to have the city name last. But anyway, we'll head in here, check some stuff out. Uh, been here before. Last time, I don't remember, maybe the pandemic was going on or something. I don't remember it being so packed. Uh, I've been here a few times, but uh, one time I remember coming here. I was in Houston for uh, for WrestleMania, WrestleMania 17. This was 20 over 20 years ago, 2001. I was dumb. Not that I'm not dumb now, but I was even more dumb, dumb and inexperienced then. And uh, 21 years old, coming to Houston with a buddy of mine, and uh, the the big boss man. We we saw the big boss man and his family here. I didn't didn't bother him. He waved at us. He saw us looking, waved at us. Uh, nice nice dude. But he was here with his kids. But um, we'll, we'll check some stuff out here. Go ahead before we get too deep into things. Click like, click dislike, whatever. Uh, subscribe, uh, all, all that junk. But uh, we'll get inside. So one, one thing they've got here is uh, uh, this right here, this space shuttle. So you can, you can go inside, check this one out. This one's like a, a model. It, it was never flown. Um, just, just done for, I guess, some training stuff. The Independence, USS Independence, I believe is what this one is. Uh, the plane below it, that's one of the legit real deal planes that carried these space shuttles. But uh, cool to go in. Both these you can go in the plane down below too. But the cool stuff is, is going in here in this freaking space shuttle, checking it out. There was a dude in here, dude in family like five or six of them total dude had a freaking his cell phone on a selfie stick and, and they were taking four freaking ever eventually folks had to come in and kind of uh give a little speech about need to move it along so some people just don't freaking realize they're not the only ones trying to check stuff out but oh selfie dad and his family he sure was annoying there, there's groups of people that really uh, uh have no consideration for anybody around but if you can get around those those morons those idiots uh, it's worth getting out and checking stuff out stuff stuff's cool another thing they've got here at uh houston space center saturn V rocket freaking massive huge rocket it's in this one giant long building um and just just has the saturn V in it a lot of info about it here but uh it, this sucker's massive there's one um in uh, in uh alabama to huntsville huntsville was it space and rocket center uh, now that's a real cool place too got a lot of, a lot of cool stuff to check out but it's it's awesome just walking along this the the one in alabama is like hanging it's in a long building hanging above your head and uh, this one's down low to the ground get a closer look at both both setups are real cool though Saturn V's were the, the largest rockets ever built, ever. Uh, taller than the freaking Statue of Liberty. So awesome to see just whole things here broken out uh, in the different stages that they've got. But uh, it is also the only thing, at least as of 2024, as of right now, uh, these are the only launch vehicles that ever took humans uh, beyond low orbit Earth. So that, that's going to change, but... Uh, uh, awesome to see it and freaking i mean hasn't been done since what 70s uh since since we used these saturn fives so um uh, kind of weird you know we had all that going on for so long and then sort of backstep but we're getting there again doing some cool stuff in in space again these days we've got some rockets outside here too the building there that's the building that saturn fives in just outside, there's these rockets here, a little rocket garden that they've got going on. I don't remember the names of any of these, but uh, it's cool to see them. Uh, I mentioned that you know, I came here in 2001. I also came here, so I don't remember the year, some point back in the 90s um, with my dad. My dad and my brother, we came down here. and The Saturn V was here then. I, I just vaguely remember it, but it was outside. 
in uh, like 2005, early 2000s, they built that building around it. Um, oh, here's another thing they've got cool outside that's actually going to lead into uh, the, the main thing we came down to Texas for this trip. But here's one of the SpaceX uh, rockets here. Cool to cool to see it um, up here at, uh, at Houston. But uh, that's going to lead us down into what we're actually going to come or, or go see. We were uh, heading to Brownsville. There's way, way, it's just so freaking far down. I'd never been that far down in Texas, but um, and you wouldn't think there's a cyber truck, weird colored cyber truck, which was also fitting since we are uh, driving into, and you kind of see some of the buildings there in the distance, uh, way out here in Brownsville, uh, Starbase. So Elon Musk's set up down here where he's building rockets, uh, starships. You wouldn't think you could get this close, but heck on, man. We were just walking around, checking stuff out. There's launch towers. I'll probably say stuff wrong because I don't know this stuff. I, I know what Charlie's told me. Charlie knows what all this stuff is. So it was cool walking around with somebody that's got a brain bigger than mine and could point out and tell me what this stuff was. Driving in down the road here, I, I sort of thought this was probably as close as we were going to be able to get uh, without getting in trouble. And uh, I mean, even that was cool to see. Uh, the the production site, that's it back here behind us. Uh, if I remember right, that's, that's what what it was called, what's going on there. And that the launch towers was the the tall things there. And we'll get closer to all that stuff, but they got a big parking lot here, big giant Starbase sign, uh, tons of cars, tons of people walking around, and then just me and Charlie chilling, walking around. Everybody else, you know, doing their thing, doing their work stuff, and uh, then just me and uh, me and Charlie. Cool, kind of smart Alex sign that he's got here. Uh, talking about talking about a lot of things, safety stuff and whatever, but. Uh, one of the cool things on here is talking about they don't do tours. They don't have tours going on here, but uh, but you can come get get a closer look and see it by by getting a freaking job. So that sign probably needs to be put all over the place these days. Um, here, here's heading over a real close look at the launch site. Real cool SpaceX sign there. Um, I think they're building another launch tower here. This is what's going on with the cranes, and then a couple other ones here over on the side here too. We'll, we'll walk all down through here, then. Uh, walk along the uh, production site there too. Some real cool stuff up there as well. Yeah. This was cool. I wouldn't have thought anything about it. Uh, that sort of fat round water tank looking thing right there in the center. That actually is a water tank these days, but it's Starhopper. Uh, Charlie was telling me the story on it. I didn't know anything about it, but right, right here by the road, you can just kind of reach over, touch it. Uh, but th this was the first, uh, if I remember right, the first launch um, vehicle that they built for, for testing. Now it's just sitting here as a, a water tower, like a water tank. Closer look at it here at Starhopper. Lots of construction going on, lots of, lots of activity everywhere at yeah, both spots. This, this spot here. It's, it's down the road, I mean, it's the same area, but uh, and you can see one from the other, but down the road here, I don't know, quarter mile maybe tops is uh, where the production site is. We'll, we'll check it out here in a second too. We won't forget about it, but uh, this, is, this road that, that goes right down here, like where that truck's going, uh, and most of the, the vehicles I'm sure are uh, people doing stuff here on, on Starbase, but it's a public road, so at least for now, anyway. Uh, what I was afraid of was waiting too long. I'd promised Charlie we'd get down here. I was afraid eventually this, this public road may get closed. It leads to a beach, a uh, public beach, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how long all that'll be public. Seems like this this will get closed off at some point. I could be wrong, but uh, it definitely felt like we shouldn't have been here. Not that we were doing anything, but uh, anyway, here's up. This is the production site. Tons of buildings here. Cool looking, just black secret buildings, I guess, where he's building crazy stuff inside. Um, and we'll get some good looks at uh, 
the rocket garden here too showed that rocket garden and in Houston the one here is freaking impressive though uh, with some some starships in it we'll, we'll check it out here get a look at it in a second back over in here there is basically a town I think there's a store over in there you can't go to it unless you work there um, housing there's tons of little houses there for uh, people who work here I guess or here most of the time anyway living here basically uh, so a lot lots of stuff going on. I think there's a bar over there too and then all these buildings that don't know what I think this one's under construction is where they're gonna build and more in inside there I think if I remember right but uh, still still working on some of these buildings a lot of these I'd seen some pictures and stuff of this this online um, and it was recent like last year I think 2023 and a lot of this wasn't even here in the end so they keep popping up with more and more stuff uh, things are getting busier and busier down here and then uh, right here couldn't get uh, too much closer than this it was a can't see her here but it was a guard she didn't, they didn't say anything to us but down this road but there's their their rocket garden kind of hard to tell uh, there's actually four starships here one of them's kind of behind the the one on the far left um, but cool to see all these suckers here uh retired starships just just sitting right here i mean that ain't far we, we couldn't get closer but I, i'm still i know i've said it but just felt shocked and crazy that we were we were able to get this close to all this stuff so these are retired uh starships here i think starship 20 uh at least what i read online starship 20 26 32 uh and a booster uh, um, that's what i read online I, I i assume that's true a lot of this stuff may just be wrong that i'm saying uh because i am an idiot an unknowing idiot but uh, uh even even being a, a moron to this kind of stuff it's awesome to see inspiring to see what uh what some just crazy rich dude is uh is doing uh you know, he he may be uh, a little on the nut side, but dang man, he's he he does some cool stuff. Um, but but cool to see these here. I think they they put different ones here before they get scrapped. Uh, so these these I guess will eventually when they get scrapped there too. But at least we can uh, we can say we got to see them. All right, we're gonna head back into the car, turn on some AC, it's freaking hot, it's like 105 degrees. Uh, people always say that, that uh, it's not so bad, it's, it's a dry heat. You know, forget you, you don't know what you're talking about. Stick your head in the oven, it's dry in there too. But uh, yeah, that's it, we're, we're, we're done. We'll head out of here and get somewhere cooler. 